Yesterday I was out shopping and I had no intentions to actually film a video, but when I got home and I saw everything that I had collectively purchased, I stopped at Terrain Anthropology and Home Goods. And so this is not a huge haul, but these are just some really cool items that I wanted to share with you guys in hopes that maybe you can find them in your stores. Um, let's start with terrain. Um, I always love going to terrain. It is such a beautiful experience. It is a place that's filled with just so much creativity. Terrain is part of the anthropology sort of umbrella. So when you walk into terrain, you're going to be invited by a beautiful greenery and ceramics and gifts. And so it is always an experience going there. I couldn't resist the sale room that they had in the back. I always make it a goal to stop in there and see what they have. But this is what I came home with and I could not resist. So here's the bag. I'm gonna set it down. And I was looking for some mercury glass to decorate my mantle. And I found this amazing vase. I mean, come on. So, ready for the big surprise here. This was originally $68, which in itself is not bad at all, but I got it for $20, 20 $21, less than $21. And I am so thrilled to have it. I almost contemplating on buying a second one to sort of like, you know, set them on top of my fireplace, but I only grabbed the one. But guys, there were several of these still on the shelves. Um, you might be able to find it online. I'm not 100% sure, did not check on that, but you might. So go ahead and take a look at terrain.com and see if you can find this mercury glass, um, beautiful vase. Um, I have it set really low on my fireplace. This year, I'm just really dedicating it to greens and mercury glass. I love to keep the holidays very simple in my home. It's just a personal preference for me. And I find that this is just sparkly enough and you know, just the right touch that the space needs. Okay, so the next thing I got from Terrain, I am a huge, huge fan of the Belvoir farm. And this is non-alcoholic. They make tons of these. My first one ever trying is their sparkling elderflower. And you can just, you know, get some crushed ice and pour this and enjoy. Or some people have um, put some rum in here, vodka, if that's your thing. You could even add wine to this. This one is their holiday festive edition. It's the Mold Winter Punch. And I am excited, I've already sampled it. As you can see, um, my husband and I enjoyed a little glass this morning. We couldn't wait. And so we had to try it. I'm gonna save the rest for Christmas if we can hold on that long. But guys, this was $16 and it's about the average price of a bottle of wine, except there's no alcohol. So if you don't drink and you love a great mocktail, then definitely pick this up. I actually added a little bit of pomegranate seeds um, to the drink over some crushed ice and that's how we enjoyed it. So my husband and I started talking about Christmas dinner and I decided to make a roasted rosemary ham and I figured I needed to get a brand new rosemary plant because the one I had, I actually overwatered it and it died. And yes, I know it's very surprising because rosemary is extremely hearty, but I promise I will take better um, care of this rosemary plant. So I went into their outside garden and this is what Terrain is known for, guys. Anybody who's ever been to Terrain, if you live in the tri-state area of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, Terrain has so much greenery um, throughout the year. And then I wound up picking up this beautiful concrete um, pot and I love it. I love the simplicity of it and the rustic sort of look to it. This guy I'm gonna keep right on my kitchen counter. My husband is currently out right now and he is going to um, pick up some lager beer for making rosemary beer bread. Now this is a recipe that does not require any yeast because the yeast is already inside the lager beer. And so I'm expecting him to come in any minute now. I'm gonna make a wonderful loaf of the rosemary 
beer bread. So if you're interested, I'm gonna show a little clipping of that right now. This is how to make my delicious rosemary beer bread. You're gonna start with two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of sugar, one tablespoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of sea salt, and a teaspoon of black cracked pepper, and a sprig of fresh rosemary. Now you can add as much or as little as you like, but I definitely added a lot. So here is what your dry ingredients are gonna look like, and you are going to mix that all together. And here is where the magic happens. You're gonna grab a 12 ounce can of lager beer, pour that into your dry, and then you are going to incorporate this with a large fork. And do not worry that your mixture is lumpy. It's supposed to be this way. You will need a greased loaf pan and then to top it off with some fresh rosemary and some extra sea salt on the top. You will bake this at for 30 minutes at 325 degrees. And here you will have a delicious rosemary beer bread to share with everyone. And this is what my little brunch looked like today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. After Terrain, we wound up visiting Home Goods, and I wanted to show you a couple of the things that I got there. I am always on the hunt for things that are very mid-century and modern. And I found this beautiful vase which is a dupe for the Alvar Alto original vase. And guys, this amber color is just so perfect for this season. I'm actually gonna go and pick up some fresh eucalyptus leaves, and I think they will look really beautiful in this vase. I paid $12.99. If they had it in white, I probably would have bought it as well because I usually have fresh flowers around my home year round, and this one is just really, really special with this beautiful amber color. Next item I found, I could not believe it. I mean, I see a lot of these um, mortar and pestle sets, but look at this one. I'm gonna actually remove this piece here. Look at the shape of this. Look at this. I mean, I paid, to say there, $17. Guys, this is amazing. What does it say under here? Wipe with soft, dry cloth, made in India. Love this organic shape. I mean, this looks so primitive. It looks very rustic and, you know, I have a couple of things up on my kitchen shelf. I love pretty organic um, kitchen items and I feel like it adds that bit of texture into my all white kitchen. And that's what I love most about these sort of kitchen items. And so I could not beat this for $17. I even love the pestle. I mean, this is just perfect. And if you guys don't know what this is, hopefully you do, but for those that don't, um, you can grind your garlic in here, your spices in here, you can grind anything in here. Um, yeah, so this is gonna definitely be used very well in my kitchen. The next item I got is not a big deal, but I just wanted to show you what I wound up picking up. I always am in need of new ramekins. Um, I'm gonna be making some homemade flan, and so definitely needed some ramekins for that, and these were only $5.99 for a set of four, and these are ceramic. I think for four ceramic dishes for $5.99, Guys, you cannot okay. beat that. So we are coming, we're winding down to the end of the haul. I just have a little bag here. It's definitely not home related, but I wanted to show you anyway, because I think these are really cool. This was in the clearance rack. This is the green cucumber exfoliating loofah soap. So what it is is an actual loofah that has the ingredients built in there and it exfoliates your whole skin. And it smells so good. This was $10 and I believe I got it for like $4 with the clearance. I have tried this before and it really does a good job at exfoliating, especially now that we are, you know, embracing the winter. My skin gets really dry, especially my legs. So ladies, if you use this exfoliating soap and then shave, this is phenomenal. This is a really good little soap to have and a great gift. Another soap I picked up, I'm going to give this to my daughter in her stocking. This is gardenia. She really loves the gardenia scent. She burns a lot of gardenia candles. It smells like you don't even have to open up the wrapper. I mean, it, this is just perfumed out of here. And this was $9. 
And I just think the packaging is so pretty. Um, she's gonna really, really love that. And then I really love this brand. I actually tried a sample of this in Sephora years ago and um, I wound up buying the vanilla scented one. This is the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant. This was on sale for $11. And this is the Sport Lux scent. Guys, this is so, so good. It has no parabens, no um, aluminum, no harsh chemicals. It is 100% very healthy. I have been on a new journey with really sort of switching out a lot of my products that have been unhealthy. I have been educating myself on, you know, hair care products, cosmetics, um, you know, deodorant, everything that we put in our bodies, I have been paying special attention to. I know a lot of people have as of lately. So switching over to something like this has been such a game changer. Um, it definitely keeps you fresh. Um, and I never have an issue with this brand. It is a really beautiful brand. So they also sell this at Sephora. And I believe you can probably put this right into your um, search engine on Amazon and find it as well. But I got it on sale for $11. And I think that this was originally it says here $17. So I saved quite a bit on it and I'm very, very happy. All right, guys, so that is the end of this haul. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the little goodies that I bought. Um, I also wanted to kind of introduce you to the stores that I frequent at. So guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this week and I'll see you in my next video soon.